Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Season 2 of Shiny Showdown. We've got all kinds of cool things going on this season. Not only are we going to catch new Pokemon in new and interesting ways, but we're also going to be going to new places this season. So I hope you stick around and see what all the hubbub is about. Back with us for Season 2, we have the best shiny showdown partner in crime, Lady Dunsparce, has returned. Oh yes, of course! I am the perfect rival, the Nimona, to whatever you named your character in Scarlet or Violet. So, of course I'm back, ready to battle, and ready to absolutely crush you this season. Very, very uh, tough talk from, from Ali here. But... Some new rules this season. So, Ooh. last season, we were just doing some, some regular shiny hunts and uh, all the whatnots. But this season, we are going to be adding in Masuda Method. Luckily for you, we've already got the eggs in the box. You don't have to sit and watch us do it. But we will be hatching eggs this season. For now, we are going to be limiting ourselves to one box per episode. And we are going to kind of move outside the box or the Pokedex in order to get us a shiny. So we have delegated that we are going to pick any of the available starter Pokemon in the game. So by starter Pokemon in the game, that transcends just the Paladea starters. So we can pick any Pokemon that has ever been a starter Pokemon in any of the previous games that are available in Scarlet and Violet. So, I think we're ready to reveal who we have chosen. I mean, we have 30 to choose from. There's so many exciting options we could go for. We could see, you know, something fun from the Kanto region, all the way up to, of course, my baby Foy Coco. We could do any of those, and I'm very excited to see what you have picked. It could be no other. If, if you know me well enough, if you're here on the channel, able to see my profile picture, and able to look over my shoulder on my new fancy bookcase, by the way, uh, we have chosen Cyndaquil for our Masuda Method hunt this season. I've got to say, not entirely surprised by this choice. I've seen your logo. I mean, I can't think of a more iconic pair than Gudra and Cyndaquil. It is truly the most immaculate pairing in all of Pokemon history. See, Cyndaquil was my first starter Pokemon, but... Because I had a sinking suspicion you were going to choose a fire type, as your rival, I of course have to pick a water Pokemon. So I am throwing it back to black and white, and I am going to be hunting for Oshawa. The really cool thing about what we're doing with these guys, as soon as we hatch them, we can use them for the rest of the season. So that means if either of us hatch them today, we are able to use that Pokemon on our team every single week so that gives us a little bit of wiggle room and make sure that we're not always showing up with a team of zippo which fortunately hasn't happened yet in addition to this amazing masuda method twist if you haven't noticed we not only picked two starters that were exciting and meaningful to us we picked two starters from the hisui region that's right for our wheel we have the opportunity to go back in time to Hisui to shiny hunt for this showdown as well, which could lead us to some very, very interesting battles. Once we cross that bridge, we'll explain a little bit more further into that. But I think for now, I'm ready to get going. Get into it. Shiny showdown, episode one, battle one. I am ready to go. I know exactly what type we're going for. All right, what type have you decided upon? This is a lot of pressure. This is the first type of this block. And I am I'm nervous about this choice, but we are going to see if this pays off. I am going to go with ground type. Ground type will be 
the first type that we hunt in Shiny Showdown Season 2. Yeah, not only do we have more bookshelves, more games, more shiny methods, but we also have less hair. This will be the first Shiny Showdown episode filmed after my haircut. Same though, like mine's just right Crazy. shoulders now, it doesn't go down. So Crazy. no super, super long anything. The only thing that's gonna be super long is my win streak. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Because I, I, I like to think new hair, new season, new me, new victories. Only time shall tell. I'm talking all this big talk and I'll only get one shiny tonight. Okay, so strategy going in. I am, I am starting with the Pokemon that plagued me last season as i went through season one footage i realized on four separate occasions i hunted for sandy fox and did not catch it tonight is my night uh, honestly ground is kind of a super good pick for Allie here because if she does manage to hatch the oshawott really early then she has type advantage over us already and that could be interesting. Okay, we've got our first egg. I could end this Oshawa business right here, right now. Let's see, egg one. Nope, not quite it. All right, number two. right now oh god i always i say this all the time and like i never remember but i want to i want to know what the name of the planet is in rogue one that has the black sand because I, I love to name a sandy guest after it for the life of me i never remember i know i've looked it up it's been told to me but uh my brain has very little space left in it <laughs> <gasps> yes it's relevant it's relevant <laughs> i love this shiny a lot probably look really good in the ultra Ball, although it might look really good in the um premiere ball as well uh you have not missed much we have um this is still the first sandwich we're about to close on it once again, Sandy Fox has evaded me. I'm starting to believe shiny Sandy Fox is not real. It is a figment of my imagination. And I don't know. It's an enigma to me. Maybe, maybe I have to cut my losses at some point, you know? But we did get the shiny Oshawott. All right. It is time. Our time is up. We've got a good start. Let's go check in and get our next assignment. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Did you find everything that you were searching for and hoping for? I found everything that I will need for the battle. Hey, you know what? That's a start. That's a start. It do be starting out here. That's for sure. I am very nervous to hear what sandwich you have picked for the second one this evening. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know why you gotta be nervous about it. I mean, it's just we're we're just you know we're just gonna pick a we're just gonna pick a type and it's gonna be a type and we're just gonna hunt it and it'll be fine, you know. Uh-huh, so what is that type, though? <laughs> All right. So, sandwich number two for episode one of season two. We are going to go with water type. Water type? Shall be the typing of the water. 
There are a lot of water Pokemon that we did not actually see last season. So I am very excited to see uh, what we can get this time around. Did you make any omelets? Any omelets? What do you mean omelets? Uh, cooking with eggs, you know? Is that what is that what the sandwich requires? <laughs> no. I'm asking how your egg hatching is going in a very weird way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, eggs were hatched. Don't drown. Oh, I was I, I was gonna say that to you. <laughs> I'm catching on to the dad jokes. Ah, bamboozle. So we are currently after water types. So I'm starting with slowpoke because there is a slowpoke outbreak out here. Now, right out the gate, I don't know what shiny slowpoke looks like, which is a little concerning. Let's go to the beach. Let's go get a wave. All right. We are going to go over here. Simply get the finis in very quickly. Then we can hatch our last 10 eggs. Bada bing, bada boom. We are in business. We're doing the stuff. We're going to Disney World. I don't know. Do any of those look different? I mean, maybe the one on the left side here does. Are you the shiny? Oh my god! What? <sighs> I can't believe that! We're getting nothing. It makes me sad. Please give me the dolphin. I want it really bad. We did so much planning for this. Come on. Oh! What? Okay! Hoo-wee! That's a bit of a surprise! Marini really, really was a lifesaver in my first season of Shiny Showdown. So getting the second Marini is absolutely bonkers i have no words for how betrayed and hurt i feel <sighs> shoot dude now we're so far behind do you have any types that you are hoping for on the wheel or are you hoping to maybe see legends of arceus pop up honestly uh i i i really miss hisui so like I would be down and ready to clown if uh, if we end up getting to take a blast from the past. Well, we do have a one in seventeen shot of spinning, um, and after a quick search on my calculator, that is a six percent chance that we might get Legends of Arceus. I like my odds. Six percent. I mean. It's better than one. It's better than zero. It's true. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and spin that wheel. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Oh, I'm keeping my fingers and toes crossed. Something playable. Ah. Fairy. <sighs> Interesting, I guess. Which... Oh my god, look where it spit us out. <sighs> Eight. Well, I wish you a very good hunt. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I have no idea what I'm going for, but you know, we uh, will make it work. Oh <sighs> man, when I say I have no idea what I'm going for, I really have no idea what I'm going for. Like, I'm still a little defeated. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, I'm so little, I feel a little defeated. Let's see where maybe Tinka Tough is. Tinka Tough is at the mountain top of south of Gullis, south of here. We're gonna look for Tinka Tough. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my gosh, I have no words. Oh, this is so painful. That is time. We did not get the tank atop, which is really um, disappointing. So hopefully the Samurott, the Toxapex, and the Slowbro are going to be enough for me to make it through this battle. Here we go, team preview time. All right, we have a very interesting assortment of Pokemon on my side. First, we have our bounty Pokemon caught today. So I will be able to use the Samurott however I need to throughout the rest of the Shiny Showdown this season. And I plan to modify its moves depending on my needs. So specifically today, one of my biggest concerns is the fact that we, I will be battling against a bunch of water Pokemon. So I have included the move Grass Knot as a way to have have that super effective advantage over um, over our water types. I also have Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet goes ahead and hits first. So as the Pokemon's HP gets lower, these water moves, Aqua Jet and Hydro Pump, are going to increase in power. I haven't also included the Life Orb as the held item, just to kind of like lower that those health points and make sure that we get those hits and those knockouts when we need them. Our second Pokemon here is Slowbro, and Slowbro is a little bit more defensive. We've attached the Rocky Helmet so that we can inflict a little bit more damage while we are staying strong. Um, I've made this less of a water build and more of a psychic type build. I've done future sight. I think future sight could be a very interesting tactic. Um, and if I know that I'm going down throwing out that future sight and potentially knocking out an opponent a little bit later on. We also have thunder wave to potentially paralyze our opponent and body press as an additional attack. Slack off to heal. Um, it's really nice that... Our little guy here is not going to be confused at any point due to his ability as well. And then last but not least, we have Toxapex. And my hope with Toxapex is any fairy types are going to get, like, gone really quickly. I've built this with the intent of knocking out those crazy fairy types. So we have the ability Merciless, where the Pokemon's attacks are critical hits if the target is poisoned. My goal is to Toxic Spikes. Uh, use Baneful Bunker, do whatever it takes to poison all of his Pokemon. So I think I'm going to start with Toxapex, poison as much as I can. Hopefully I can knock out that fairy very, very quickly and then use Samurott and Slowbro to clean up for the rest of the game. I know this looks bleak. I know it. <laughs> However, we're still going to try our best Lamu the Palisand here. It's gonna carry us to victory. Okay. We uh, we are not hoping for any kind of director Krennic shenanigans here. So we got Palisand today. Palisand. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we're we're fine. She doesn't have Flutterbane. It's fine. So <laughs> as you saw, we have the assault vest. We also have Earth Power, Flash Cannon, Giga Drain, and Shadow Ball. Okay. And we have the ability Water Compaction. So, my hope is that we're going to stick around. Uh, we did hunt water types. So, like, maybe she has a water type that she's going to use a water move, gain some defense, smack it with a Giga Drain, get some health back then we're just we're golden we just have to survive a couple hits you know just a, just a couple that's all we need to do is survive just a, just just a couple okay that's all we gotta do <laughs> just gotta survive a couple oh i'm so screwed all right let's see what ali's got She got her Oshawott! Oh, that's so unfair. Alright. Honestly, I'm liking my odds. Uh, oh, 
Oh no. I think my plan has changed. I was gonna go with the toxic spikes. I might as well just throw everything I've got with the Samurott right out the gate. Um, and then I can go into Toxapex. My golly, this is something else. Palisand versus the world. We will see how this goes. I think, I think Palisand is the exact Pokemon we need to counter Allie's team. I'm feeling much better about this because I will more than likely be slower than whatever. So I simply just Giga Train. All is well. I <sighs> got the shiny on the first episode. Must be nice. Must be nice. Um, we are Terra Ground for whatever that matters. <sighs> I just have to hope I don't die in one shot. Fingers crossed. I don't die. Aqua Jet. We live that. We live that. It's an Aqua Jet. We live it. In business. We are in business. Oh, we are in such business now. <laughs> we are in such business. Oh man, but we always are gonna have to think about Samurott being on squad whenever we go against Ellie. So. It's Life Orb. Mm. Good. We're fine. We're okay. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> We're chill. It's 2-1 now. It's 2-1. It's a one Pokemon game. Okay? We are... <laughs> we are still here. We are not out of this yet. We are definitely still within striking distance. Toxapex is like the worst... Possible... Bring? Shoot, I didn't mean to do that painful. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, we're okay. Because. I, I was worried that Toxapex had. I was worried that it. Oh no. We get it back. We're still at plus one. We're good. We're fine. Not a lot of health recovery. Not a lot of health recovery. Uh, it's very unfortunate. She has leftovers. We're gonna Earth Power. Mm, we're not. We're not in a good spot. Um, despite everything. Critical hit might have mattered. <laughs> that might have mattered. Um, however, we still have the Slowbro to take care of. Now, Slowbro has better physical defense. Um, I just have to live one attack. I'm faster. The dream is real. The dream is real. I am faster. The dream is real. The dream is real. Oh, sheesh. How? How did I... Ow. Yeah, um, so unfortunately my Slowbro was completely built 
as a psychic fighting type. Mm. Which did not help against a ghost type, which was the one thing I think I was not anticipating so much. But way to go against the odds. <laughs> oh, man. Considered. I mean, how, how many eggs? Do you really want to know? No, but yes. <laughs> Two. <sighs> Two. Two eggs. When you're when you're better, I guess you're just better. Hey, in the end, you did get the right Pokemon, and you built it the right way to counter me, which is excellent. And what what a fun battle for sure. Yeah, it was I. I was worried going into it, but once I saw those water types, I was like, oh man, we eating good today. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in and watching episode one of season two. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Follow us on all of our social links, which will be down in the description. And you definitely don't want to miss the next episode because I will absolutely find my Syndic Will. But thanks again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next week and stay winning, friends.